We are literally engaged in an unprecedented experiment with the one planet that we know of that can support life. We will respond to the threat of climate change, knowing that the failure to do so would betray our children and future generations. The big question mark is the future, of course, and a new kind of normal. The argument is over. We are now in an era where humans shape the destiny of our planet. 97% of climate scientists agree that man-made climate change is real and happening right now. Geologists and climatologists are finding that a rapid climate event is happening right before our eyes. Now consider this, unthinkable and terrifying as it may seem, nearly all life on Earth could go extinct because of man-made climate change. Risk is a so-called runaway greenhouse, which is the, the self-correcting mechanism cease to kick in. Um, and you heat by a little bit, and you release methane. That then causes excess heating, uh, and you release more methane, and so it goes on. I think it is certainly extremely significant that a lot of the main crises of the past are associated with global warming, and so with obvious implications for um, the present day. But the most deadly force behind all extinctions isn't from outer space. It's from underground, underwater, and under the ice, where trillions of tons of carbon lies in wait in the form of frozen methane. If this methane melts and is released into the atmosphere, it will produce a sudden and massive global warming. During the Permian mass extinction, greenhouse gases were released by volcanic eruptions in an area that is today called the Siberian Traps. These, along with the heat from the lava flow itself, warmed the atmosphere of the Earth by at least six degrees Celsius. That much global warming took a huge toll on land, animals, and plants, but far worse, it warmed the oceans enough that methane, frozen deep under the sea, melted and was released into the atmosphere. That enormous release of methane, a powerful greenhouse gas, pretty much doubled the level of global warming and killed off over 95% of all life, both on Earth and in the sea. And the atmosphere doesn't care whether the carbon dioxide comes from uh, uh, human activity uh, or from a volcano. It, it has the same end effects. The numbers are very similar from some of these giant lava flows in Siberia. The, the amount of carbon dioxide they release is very similar to the, the sort of fossil fuel burning um, carbon dioxide release that we, we're, we're doing sort of decade after decade today. At the end of 2012, the World Bank issued a report warning governments around the world that a five degree temperature increase is likely unless drastic action is taken to curb carbon emissions. And a six degree increase was, according to some scientists, all it took to pass a tipping point during the Permian mass extinction. There's a virtual scientific consensus that six degrees was all it took to initiate the PETM. In both cases, it involved massive releases of methane. The sea ice is disappearing very fast. It's, it's the biggest, most rapid single change in any aspect of the planet's surface. When the sea ice retreats, as it's been doing, the, the shallow shelf seas uh, warm up. And uh, this warm water extends down to the seabed. The seabed warms up, it releases the methane, and you get plumes of methane coming up. And these have been seen by expeditions that go out to areas like the East Siberian Sea. We're seeing just big areas of massive bubble plumes of methane coming up to the surface, and that's starting to increase the level of methane in the atmosphere. We must begin to reduce carbon emissions dramatically. Yet at this moment, we're facing a crisis of world leadership. Powerful fossil fuel corporations are fighting to monetize the trillions of tons of carbon they own that's still underground. Every day, we are witness to more climate-related events. The world community, global citizens, governments, leaders, NGOs, and corporations must come together, step forward, and take decisive action. In order to combat this issue, 
we must create the largest movement in human history, and it could mean our very survival. Let's not wait until we reach more tipping points. This is the most urgent of times and a most urgent message. To learn more and join the movement, go to greenworldrising.org.